So I have Sydney here and Tyler here. What's good? And we haven't hung out since July. I've been seeing this thing. That's what it started off of, as an Instagram post. And when I, I want to pop it up somewhere on the screen of Period. what I'm showing them. I see. I seen <laughs> No lies. I'm telling you, that no. don't spoke to my soul. <laughs> I want to first start off with why I don't shoot my shot. It's because I personally haven't found somebody that I like enough to shoot my shot for. I will absolutely shoot my shot when the person is intriguing enough for me to do it. Hey y'all, welcome back to another estrogen release video. I am Asia and today's video is part two on why women don't shoot their shot. So we're picking up where we left off last week. So. The funny thing is, it's, it's so weird how friends come together and we can literally have the most opposite, like, we can connect in certain areas and then we can be totally opposite. Because I know what Sydney is going to say. And I'm just going to start by saying, Sydney's probably going to start by saying, I'm the prize. I love you. She's the prize. I'm the prize. And the eggs don't, don't chase to see right. your way around. Right, right. And so maybe you could share your experience. Because I'm more like, I feel like I'm in the middle of this. We're, me and Sydney are definitely different yeah. ends of the spectrum. And you lie somewhere like in the middle depending yeah. on the situation. But yeah. me and Sydney for the most part are usually on opposite ends. I mean, we're similar in the desire. Yeah, I think you had to drive and the but goal, when it comes to pursuing. But the approach still, is very different. Yeah, I, I shoot my shot, but in a different. Yeah, way. the approach yeah. looks very different. So, like, I I feel like I've shot my shot. Like, really, I would agree. most of them. Really, I would agree. I, I mean, feel like Sydney so pressed over Sydney, so and, be, and she be treating, she be dogging around, oh, pressed, pressed, and pressed. They still. Like, they like it when you dog, but. <laughs> The thing is, if I see someone, I'll be like, ooh, like, I want that person. Mm -hmm. I won't, like, be as bold as Tyler, but I'll right. go about it in a different way. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say, like, I'll manifest it, but, like, something along those lines of, like, oh, I'm going to get to know this person, or this person will notice me, like, by the end of the night mm -hmm. type of thing. Like, with demon number one. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, oh, I saw this really cute boy. Yeah. I'm going to get to know them. And next, mm -hmm. next thing you do, boo. I think but it's I a lot like about how you that. conduct yourself around those people too, because I think yeah, I'll people, put myself like more out there, be like right. a little bit more bold. I won't be like I won't walk up to them like Tyler did, but like I'll be right. like more like I don't know. Like, how you really exist in that space yeah. changes when you go into a party. You go in and you hang out. Like when we would go to, I want to bleep the name out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. When we would go hang out with them, yeah. we would go and hang out with them. Yeah. Yeah. If there was somebody there that we wanted to notice us, once you get to a point where you desire the attention, mm -hmm. your behavior shifts. Yeah. So the yeah. way you interact with people in that space is different. The way that you behave in terms of your volume, in terms of the things that you say, right. that to me is, sh is still shooting your yeah. shot because you're you're making yourself you're more making available. your presence yeah. known to yeah. the people around you. Yeah, and I think a lot of women way, yeah. who say that they won't shoot their shot at all I feel like don't people, change their presence yeah, either. Yeah, and I don't think they understand that you can shoot your shot just by changing the way that you exist in a space. So that brings me to the thought that you know, because I agree with you, women, we open ourselves up to in a certain way when we. We want somebody to know that we're available. So it makes me think, like, who created this post? Was it a woman or a man who created this post? Because when I searched first, oh, I, I thought it was a man. And then I that makes me think, did. you think a woman made it? Uh, because I, when I say the man, I feel like he made it because he doesn't recognize when a woman is shooting her shot. That. That, that was my perspective. But, like, literally <laughs> how, like, that meme is, that's me, though. Like, if I look at you and, like, we make an eye contact and... That's it. Like I'm there. I thought that was. I thought that was that was meant to represent nothing. Like I thought that was like. If, like to if, me, if the I like, wasn't. if I like walk, yeah. if I sit beside you or something, or I like go like a little hair. Mm -hmm. So look, that's right it, here, that's if Sydney comes yeah. into a party and we've been there for a little minute, if we see a demon there, <laughs> she might instead of sitting on the couch and like chilling with the guys. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Right, exactly. Hey, how are you? Exactly. And, but that's the same conversation that would have otherwise happened. It's funny though because I feel like I that mean to me was nothing. Yeah, I thought that it was, was nothing. like a and that's oh, he's me. cute. Oh, he's cute. That's and me, you don't yeah. do anything. That's what that means. That's like that's me. me. I would I wouldn't even do like hey like I'm not 
I'm not okay, gonna you see like, a cute guy, what you do? What you do? Like a cute guy is just like in Chipotle next to you. What you doing? No pandemic. What you this, doing? That. And minding their business and looking at me. And then going at back home and seeing like a fight on Instagram. And, yeah. and, and then, then like look at start my research and stuff. And I I mean I'm not trying to throw shade at any guys or anything. You know, I've been blessed to meet a lot of very different, interesting uh, guys. But I'm saying personally, I've never had someone that blow, blew my mind completely. And if they really? did blow my mind, they hit me up first. Or they contacted me first. Mm -hmm. When you and say so like heard, blow their mind, is it like looks or just like something about them? Kind of a combination. Be okay, get, get your bleep right. Get your bleep right. Because, because it was something about them that but it's, it's just like it was in. It's look more at, than... I'm, I'm more like a, a looks type person, but like they know I don't go for like traditional looks. Like I have... You like a variety? I have, I have a variety of like different people, but it's like an umbrella of like a type. My type of attractive, it's like a combination of every... You can be good looking and I can still think you're trash and therefore I obviously I won't shoot my shot regardless. But even if you, you know, you look attractive and you, I, I'm like digging every aspect of you, I'm still going to take some time. And I think a part of that of me taking my time into, <laughs> part of it is me taking my time into shooting my shot is because what I'm really attracted to is initiative. And so if you take the initiative to talk to me, then that's when I'm just like, oh, like that kind of that, that, is, that is like an attract to think for me like yeah like, put, yourself, put yourself out there for me and like open yourself out for me to like yeah or show me that you're you. interested yeah. and again i'm not saying that that's the right thing to do i'm none of this i'm not saying that this is and we're in a pandemic the whole thing has like literally it's it's not not how, how do you even yeah. shoot your shot at this point yeah so. like yeah it's kind of like, it's you know really what? weird but i'm just saying like personally like this is my experience why i haven't shot my shot and why I don't really intend to shoot my shot because overall, the overall umbrella is that I'm really attractive to. No, you're really attractive to a guy. Everybody comes to you. They have you up. But that's what I find attractive. Like, there's a lot of people who. I like that. You're proud. But I like that you know what you like mm -hmm. and it does work for you. Yeah. yeah, here's something I'm not complaining about, that, and it doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. yeah, and that's the thing. I don't want this to serve as me complaining. I mean, I love to complain, Poor but I'm not trying to complain about it. I'm just trying to kind of send encouragement to anybody, regardless, man or woman. If you're out there and you feel like people are not shooting their shot, it might not be you. It just, it might, it just I might be you. You know, the way that you are genuinely comfortable existing around people, right? That right. you have interest in. Mm -hmm. In any way, whether that be superficial and just attractive or, you know, their personality. I, or, I think there's a certain phase that everybody goes through before they get to that point. Where you kind of clam up and you're a little bit too nervous to say anything and you kind of like get starstruck around an everyday person. You know what I yeah, mean? Where you, right. where you kind of lose your ability for normalcy. Like, right. and that's normal. Yeah. But I think there's a certain level of confidence within yourself that you have to get to. Yeah, yeah, and yeah like confidence in yourself. Absolutely. Like self -love. To know that you bring Just like to like exude that, yeah. And that's why right. I do feel f uh, bad for guys in that th this specific area is because rejection is hard and the rejection can turn you off from a situation. That's why I, I understand how it can be discouraging to shoot your shot because that, and maybe that is a reason why I don't shoot my shot yeah. in a traditional sense yeah. because I don't want to get rejected. That's not, I don't, that's not, I don't wake up so. and like, Lord, just let me get rejected today. Yeah. Like, that's not the vibe I want. So maybe that's a part of it too. Maybe because I don't, I personally don't care. Really? I'm not always like that. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't always like that. You guys I know me. You way. guys get rejected either. So maybe that's a part so of it too. that. But also there have been times where I'm like, you're, I just want to let you know you're, you're really handsome. Thank you. And it doesn't turn into anything else. Never but to me, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't, do that. <laughs> I don't take it. I, I don't take it. it, it you know, it's per, I don't take it personal good. because mm -hmm. if every if it was meant if you were meant to be with any and everybody, then you could be with any and everybody, mm -hmm. and you can. There are some people where it's just not. The, they you're just. They're just not the right match for you. That's true. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm not gonna take it personal that every and anybody is not the right match for me. That I don't mm -hmm. care. So. As discouraging as it is to get rejected and the way that from my experience the majority of women I have come across expect a man to approach them first the amount of rejection they are experiencing versus the flip side is insane yeah you look really handsome I like your beard 
your lineup is real crisp. And also, I feel, like, shoes. I feel like that will make you stand out, too, because, yeah. you know. Because you're a human being. And mm -hmm. I, I, I have been trying to be more intentional about acknowledging the fact that it feels good to have recognition. Yeah, yeah. And I, feel like I can't expect a man to, this is my view. Mm -hmm. I don't expect you to put up, pick up something that I never put down. So if I never change how I interact in an environment, and I never give you a look, what am I expecting you to pick up? It's definitely food for thought. I mean, again, I'm not saying that, you know, my way is the right way, her way is the right way, her way is the right way. I'm just kind of like creating conversation behind, you know, for people who are wondering why women are reserved to or have reservations about shooting their shot. I'm just kind of trying to provide some leverage to it. Um, but yet, yeah, again, I like that. I don't want anyone to feel pressure to feel like they have to shoot. It. Like, I don't like obligations or anything like that. And again, I, again, I'm not totally against it. I'm just saying that it's just interesting how I just don't, I never really. But I think the there's a difference between pursuing somebody and shooting your shot too. And yeah. I think that's something that all three of us align on yeah. is that we are all three of us absolutely going to be the one that's pursued. That's but I will give you something to pursue. Yeah. But you are going to pursue me. And I think that's a different video, but I like how you, that is a separation. Shooting your shot and versus, um, shooting your shot, shot, shooting your shot versus being the pursuer. Being the mm -hmm. pursuer. And maybe that's where I'm getting that. Maybe, I think a lot of people see them as synonymous. Yeah, and yeah, I right. Don't, I don't see right. it that way because I think courting and is that's a probably what's scaring yeah. people. Because it's like, if I'm already shooting my shot, I'm not pursuing well, you. I might as well pick you up for the first date too. You know, right? right? Or and we yeah. might as well Again, I'm not saying that's right. wrong. If that's what you want to do. Do you do what right. you want to do? But I think that's another reason why people get turned off of. Because I've talked to a lot of women, and a lot of women just like initiative. You're not taking those steps to, you know, put yourself out there. Women aren't willing to pick it up. Or they're not, you know, they're not noticing it enough to pick it up. But see, and again, the verbiage there was pick it up because there was something to pick up. Mm. That's where I, where I go. And to me, the initiative is not lost if I'm the one that says something to you first. I think that that's mm -hmm. like a comfortability thing because you know you have us. Yeah. But well, even by myself. And would you still do the same thing? Yeah. Like, I haven't seen them in action um, in a long time due to the p pandemic. We haven't been out doing anything yeah. for, for in a social environment because of social distancing and um, just basically the pandemic. So I'm just really interested to see what is in store for us. Like, you know, we kind of, when we get together, it's, it's all talk. You know what I'm saying? It's all it's talk. It is all talk. You know, <laughs> so you don't know what. I might just go to somebody and look and want a cheek or something. I don't know. I'm Girl, just, not in this panoramic. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it's just you never know what situation is going to bring what out of you. Bring yeah. what out of you. And so I just, you know, I think the main thing that I want to leave off with this video is just to stay open. Hot Girl Summer 2021. 2021. Get your COVID juice. Like, no, but um, I just... I think the most important thing is to stay open and not to be too bound to social norms or social rules. Absolutely. And even if your your mama, your grandmama, your aunts do one thing a certain way, don't just stick to that. And I'm not just going to keep it to the women. Men, if you feel like women need to shoot their shot at you, don't stay in that, you know? It's just, you got to kind of explore. If you are open to meeting people and open to the experience of interacting with people, mm -hmm. then allow yourself to be 100% open to it. And that might mean interacting outside of your norm. But you know? be open, but keep your standards up. Keep don't your standards up. Don't drop your standards. And that's not to say. Keep your standards up. Yeah, don't yeah. alter yourself to the point where you just don't but, recognize But still yourself. be comfortable with right. you. Keep mm -hmm. your standards up, but be open if you want to, and be patient. All right. good things come in good time. Don't rush it. Exactly. You don't ever want to rush a relationship or rush like yeah. a rush your shot. Don't 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 do that. You know, <laughs> be confident, be comfortable in you. Keep your standards up, but just be a little bit more open. Have a little bit more patience, and go with the flow. Go with yeah. That's the that's the key thing. Go with the flow because I think that it kind of everything's a balance. So sometimes you want to have to be a little bit more, you know to go after what you want. And some things you do need to be a little bit more pulled back. Let's have it, part two is done. Again, special thanks to Sydney and Tyler for being a part of this video, this discussion, all that. And in the comments below, I wanna hear from you. 
again ladies if you don't shoot your shot let me know in the comments why you don't and men if you feel like it's a load of crap that women don't shoot their shot let me know in the comments below as well with that being said thank you for watching if you're watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video peace bye Taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.